So, what is the spectrum in minimal invasive spine surgery? So, uh, it is micro disectomy, which is the most common one. Then, apart from micro, we have uh, been doing transforminal endoscopic disectomy, interlaminal endoscopic disectomy, minimal invasive spine surgery in the form of uh, fracture fixation and uh, trans uh, transforminal lumbar embolic fixation. And there are, then, there are some pain management. Uh, blocks. Statistics so far in the last three months that we all have uh, yesterday seen our 50th uh, celebration. We have done uh, micro uh, micro disectomy around 12, transcranial endoscopy around 4, interlaminal endoscopy MIS. So uh, this is uh, me and uh, Paresh. We have uh, been trained in endoscopic uh, uh, surgery at Seoul, South Korea, by Dr. Lin. And uh, uh, frankly speaking, as a team, which is unique to us in this uh, institute, like me, um, uh, me, myself, and Paresh uh, are not A plus B square. It is A square B square plus two AB. So it is making a difference. Two important areas where the team makes a difference is the planning and its execution and managing the complications. So, rushing through, this is uh, actually an uh, anatomy for the transformal endoscopy. And we all know that uh, advantages of minimal invasive spine surgery. This can be transformal endoscopy, we can do a stitchless surgery without even putting a stitch or at all a single stitch. It is sort of bloodless, minimal tissue damage. We can perform it under local anesthesia, awake without uh, general anesthesia. We can support as a live neuron, target oriented, technically demanding, and we have uh, special instruments for that. So, for all reasons about endoscopy is definitely uh, advantages, it maintains anatomy, there are no burning of bridges, it maintains function, quick, quick mobilization, minimal hospital stay. Uh, endoscope is uh, uh, just uh, uh, similar to other scopes, but the instrumentations are different. That's what uh, we need to have a state of art of instruments. This we we have our own in this institute and uh, in that area we have to We are a patient of, uh, of you know, this for last 22 years, we have been with right law and right medicine, a big disc for last year, diabetic, and we wanted to avoid hypertensity, uh, and that's why we performed this transformation in this particular. So, the planning. No, son, this is the needle which uh, goes inside the trans uh, the foramen. At the level of this, we see we, uh, we do all this under the young diagnosis. Over the uh, needle goes a cannula trocar, uh, then cannula, and then cannula. And this is the view of uh, <coughs> endoscopy, the camera view where we are directly inside the disc. And this is how the, the disc punches will remove the disc. This fragment will be pulled out and this relieves the pressure immediately. For an awake patient, the patient immediately says, Oh, may the pain come again. Okay. So it is just like that. Most of the time, we don't remove slightest of the bone also in transformal endoscopy, which is directly inside the uh, disc, removing the disc. Debridement of the uh, disc tissue or removal of the loose pieces. And then looking for the nerve. So this is sort of called half and half of the where when you see that red part is the epidural area and the white part is the disc. And uh, such big fragments can be removed to that with the uh, one centimeter or about one centimeter size incision, single incision spine surgeries. Uh, 
or seniors might be knowing earlier spine surgery is used to be like a big big thing in the institute where it has to be like planned by many departments and now it is becoming such a thing. So interlaminar endoscopy also we have performed here. Uh, that needs another set of instruments. I am not having that view you now. But again, this is a single small uh, either a single suture or without suture with, uh, and the decompression is perfectly done as what we do in the microvesicular open surgery. And the patient walks day one comfortably without pain. Just, just similarly, earlier people used to think that spine surgery is people, uh, patient will keep on bed for a long time. So the patient getting discharge next day or uh, they are. Or there is some element of neurogenic? No, no, no. It is just in drop, we have to be comfortable. Just for a single day. So just because uh, if there is a bladder, uh, the bladder is full, there is some element of uh, uh, vascular condition in the spine. And then we are doing microdisectomies with our either a loop or a, a microscope. 